sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans especially. As I said in a recent uh, video where I did my updates, I told you that I would be um, doing a, a replays of past ALCSs and World Serieses to see if the teams that actually won should have been the teams that actually won. And uh, we are doing that today and we are starting with my favorite 2005 and we are going to start with the 2005 ALCS between the Chicago White Sox and the Anaheim Angels. They played the championship series, and as you may or may not know, the White Sox actually won that series and advanced to the World Series against the Houston Astros. And we will be doing the National League 2005 playoff series between the Houston Astros and the St. Louis Cardinals as well. But right now, we are concerned with the ALCS and playing game one of the ALCS. Uh, we will go over the lineups for the visiting Angels. Uh, Sean Figgins will lead off and he'll be the third baseman, followed by Garrett Anderson, who will be the DH. Then Vlad Guerrero, who will be the right fielder and batting third. Molina will be, Benji Molina will be the cleanup hitter and uh, playing catcher. Darren Erstad will bat after him and be the first baseman. Followed by Adam Kennedy at second base. Juan Rivera in left. Orlando Cabrera at shortstop. And picking up the rear in the ninth spot for the Angels will be Steve Finley, the center fielder. On the mound today is Jared Washburn, and in 2005, Jared Washburn was 8-8 eight eight with a 320 earned run average in 29 starts. He pitched 177 innings and allowed 184 hits. For the homestanding Chicago White Sox, leading off will be Scott Pizednik, and he'll be the left fielder, followed by Aaron Rowand in center field. Frank Thomas will be the number three hitter and be the DH, and he is followed in the cleanup spot by Paul Canerco, the first baseman today. Then Jermaine Dye, the right fielder. A.J. Przinski at catcher. Juan Uribe at shortstop. Joe Creedy at third base. And Iguchi at second. And on the mound today for the... Uh, White Sox will be Mark Burley. I also want to point out that, again, as usual, I will be using the basic game. I'm not using the advanced game because the advanced game, I'm not as familiar with it and it would take much longer to play a game. And I also want to mention that I am not using actual lineups. I'm not using actual pitchers. I'm doing what I want to do and the lineups I want to use and the pitchers that I see fit to use for uh, each team. So with all of that housekeeping out of the way, let's get on with it. And Sean Figgins steps in against Mark Burley. And he gets a 1-8, which is a triple 1-10 to 10 or a single. And the Angels start right off with a single by Sean, by, uh, Sean Figgins. And he is a double-A stealer. He's going to go to second. And he is going to make it easily with a 2 so we have uh, already uh, some issues <laughs> for, uh, for Mr. Burley. So you got a man aboard and he gets a stolen base. And now with a man at second and no outs, you've got uh, Garrett Anderson up. And he gets a 6-8, which is a single. And they're going to probably send Sean Figgins. He is a running 1-17. to They are certainly going to do that. The uh, hit was to right field, but that doesn't matter. And he does score. So, Anderson gets a single. 
and Sean Figgins comes all the way around for a run and that's an earned run on the record of Burley and you now you have a man at first who is a stealing E so he's not going anywhere and Vlad Guerrero is up he gets a 6-7 that is a fly ball to center field one away Fly out to eight. Benji Molina gets a 6-5. That is a ground ball second base C. That will move the runner to second. But it's a ground out to uh, the second baseman. And Darren Erstad comes up with a man aboard and a 1-8. And that's a ground ball third base. And that is it. So uh, the Angels do come away with a run in the first inning. And so we will get that. And they did have a hit, obviously. And that brings up Scott Pizednik, the first batter of the game for the White Sox to face Jared Washburn. He gets a 6-7, that's a single one to 16, and that's a 19, so it's going to be a line out to short. Pazednik is out. Line out to 6, one away. Aaron Rowan gets a 6-6, that's a fly ball to center field. And Frank Thomas is aboard, is up, and he gets a strikeout. So Washburn has a much better first inning. He strikes a man out and gets three outs, one, two, three, retiring the White Sox. So you have no runs there. And then we go to the top of the second where Adam Kennedy is up. And he gets a 111, which is a pop out to second. Up steps Juan Rivera. He gets a 4-7, which is a single one to five or a line out. It is a line out to the shortstop. Two down very quickly for the Angels here in the second. And Orlando Cabrera gets a 1-8, and that's a pop out to third. The Angels come away with nothing in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. And Paul Canerco, Pauly, steps in. He gets a 2 9, that's a strikeout. Second strikeout for uh, Washburn, and nobody allowed on yet. Jermaine Dye gets a 5 9. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Cabrera, and he is a 2. And that is a 14. He's out. And that brings up to the plate um, A.J. Przinski. And Przinski gets a 6-6, six, six, and that's going to be a fly ball to center field. He got a, uh, yeah, he was uh, five to three, no, six to three. Six to three, and then a fly out to eight, and so we go to the third inning. All right, top of the third, and you have Steve Finley coming up for the Angels. He gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout, and that's going to be Burley's first K of the game. Sean Figgins is up with one down. He gets a 1-5. That's a single. That guy is going to be a thorn in the side, it looks like, maybe this series of the uh, of the um, uh, White Sox and he will try to steal he does make it again that's the second stolen base
Aaron Anderson up. He gets a 5-10. That is a strikeout. Two away. So Burley got his second strikeout at a very opportune time. And Vlad Guerrero gets a 3-5, which is a single. And, of course, they're going to send Sean Figgins with two down, especially. And he's gunned at the plate. That is, um, and especially since that is the right fielder, who was um, uh, Jermaine Dye with a negative four arm. So he was easily gunned out at the plate, and that's going to be the third out. Um, single and out on a fielder's choice at the, at the plate. So... That is going to be no runs for the Angels right there. And we go to the bottom of the third. It looked like maybe the Angels were going to break through, but they didn't. Jose Uribe is up in the third. He gets a 2-9. That's a strikeout. Third strikeout for um, Washburn. He has been great so far. Uribe, or uh, Crede, gets a line out to third base. Line out to six, two away. And Tejito Taguchi, Igu Tejito Iguchi, the second baseman, gets a 4-7, and that is a strikeout. And that is, amazingly, that's the fourth strikeout for Washburn against no walks and no hits. For the White Sox against him. We go to the top of the fourth. Benji Molina up for the uh, uh, let's see. Benji Molina is up for the, the uh, Angels. He gets a 1-4. It's a ground ball pitcher. One away. 1-3 one in the fourth. Darren Erstad gets a 4-8. A that is a single. Another hit allowed by Burley. That's the fourth hit allowed by Burley. Uh, Erstad is a B, but they're going to hold him right now. They're going to keep him there right now. Adam Kennedy gets a 3-7. That's a ground ball B. And he is an A stealer. So with two outs, they're going to try to get a guy in scoring position, and they do. And now they have a man at second with two down and Juan Rivera up. 4-6. That's a strikeout. So uh, Burley strikes out his third guy. And Anaheim comes away with nothing in the fourth. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Pizednik will be leading off since uh, you've gone three innings, three up and three down for Washburn in the first three innings. Pizednik is up. You get the three eight. That's a strikeout. One away. And another strikeout for Washburn. Incredibly. Five strikeouts, nobody allowed on. Aaron Rowan gets a 212. It's a pop out to third. And that brings up Frankie Thomas. And he gets a 28. And that's a walk. That's the first guy allowed on by Washburn. And, uh, and still no hits. And so with Frank Thomas up, Canerco is up two down, or with Frank Thomas aboarding uh, him up. Uh, ground ball to the pitcher. He is a three defensively. And that's an 11, 11 and three. I think he's probably gonna be out, but let's check it and it is an out. So that is a ground ball and Nobody scores for the White Sox, who cannot seem to touch Washburn, really. 
Orlando Cabrera is up in the fifth inning. Let's see. Let me. There you go. Orlando Cabrera, 6 9, is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Uribe, and he's a two. That's going to be a single. This Angels team, if they get guys on, they can be a problem. Burley, that's his fifth hit allowed. Cabrera is an A stealer. They'll try to send him. And he is, let's see if he's gunned out, actually, because he might not be. He's a plus one, Pruszynski is. And he would have been watched, so he is out. And that's one down. Finley is up. 5-5. Five, five. You live by the run, you die by the run. That's going to be a strikeout for Finley. And that is the second time Finley has struck out. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. And with two down, Sean Figgins is up and he gets a 1-4, which is a fly ball center field. First time he has been out. So, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Jermaine Dye up. It's only one nothing. So, I mean, uh, they the White Sox have had some good defensive plays that have kept them well in this game. But sooner or later, you got to score a run, especially when the other team already has one. Jermaine Dye is up. He gets a 6-7. That's a single 1-16. And that is going to be a single. So that's the first hit allowed for um, Jared Washburn. And he's a B stealer, but he's going to hold right now. Krasinski is up. He gets a 6-10. That is a fly ball to the center fielder. And that is Finley, and he's a 2. And that's a 10. I'm going to think that's probably an out. And it is one down, fly out to eight for Przinsky. That sends up Uribe. He gets a one eight. That's a single. So now they got a little rally going. All of a sudden, Washburn is just falling apart here. <coughs> Second hit allowed for Washburn. <coughs> Two runners on. And that gives, that's a 5-11. Ground ball to first. That's Erstad. He's a 1. That's a 10. That is going to get us a 1 base error. So Erstad, the 1 at first, makes an error. So Creedy gets on by an E3. And now the White Sox have the bases loaded with 1 out. The Angels are going to bring the infield in, even though I don't like doing that. And that's a 1-5, which is a strikeout for Aguchi. So two down, Aguchi with a K. And he is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. And Washburn, for Washburn, that can't, couldn't have come at a more opportune time. Um, and uh, Pizednik is up, and he gets a 5-8, and that's a pop-out to second base. Pop out to four. No runs come across for <coughs> the White Sox. And we go to the top of the sixth. Okay, Garrett Anderson is up. Still one nothing here. Oh, and I also have to record that the White Sox have had, let me catch up on the hits here. The White Sox had two hits and uh, the Anaheim Angels had an error and they've also had five hits. So. so now we're caught up and Garrett Anderson up. He gets a 4-8. That is a single. Sixth hit allowed for Burley. 
Vlad Guerrero gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball second base double play. So that is a 4-6-3 double play. And there's two down. And Molina's up, and he 3-6 is a double one. And that's going to be a single. So that is another hit. Yet another hit. Seven hits allowed for Burley. And Erstad is up. He gets a 1-8, and that's a ground ball, third base B. And the uh, Angels come away with no runs in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still one nothing. Very good game. And uh, the Angels had another hit. Oh, I put another error accidentally. Disregard the second error. Hate this the touch thing. So sometimes it just it's crazy. All right, so um, bottom of the sixth, and you got Aaron um, Aaron Rwand up three eight. That's a home run, one to six or a double. He could tie the game right here, and he does. Aaron Rowan goes deep. And uh, that's a hit allowed, third hit allowed, and first earned run by Washburn. Frank Thomas gets a 110. That's a home run. Back to back jacks for the White Sox. Up steps Canerco. Nah, doesn't look like it. Single one to 16. And he does get a single, though. And now Washburn is just falling apart. Jermaine Dye is up. He gets a 5 7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is Kennedy, and he's a 2. That is an 8. That's probably going to be a double play. And the end of the at the end of the, the inning, and it is. But not before the White Sox get a uh, strike for two more hits and two more run and two runs. And now the White Sox lead two to one as we go to the top of the seventh. And uh, the aforementioned Kennedy is up in the top of the seventh. Burley and Washburn still both out there, but why not? The game is 2-1, to one, very close. 2-7, and Kennedy gets a single. And that is another hit. Eight hits allowed now by Burley. Kennedy's an A. I think he was gunned out last time, though, so they're going to be careful. They'll let Juan Rivera hit. 5-6 is a fly ball right field. There's one away. And now they will try to steal Kennedy. And 19, he gets gunned out too. So they, yeah, they, they're having problems. And now there's two down, and Cabrera up, and he gets a 5-4, and that is a catcher card X, and he is a 4. Brzezinski is a 4 at catcher. That is a 20, and that is a foul out. So, no runs come across, and uh, the, the, uh, the Angels do get another hit, but they don't get another run, and we go to the bottom of the 7th. In a two to one game. And Przinski is up and he gets a one nine. That's gonna be a single for Przinski. Another hit allowed for Washburn. That's only his fifth hit allowed though. Juan Uribe. Six six is a fly ball center. Unfortunately for Washburn, two of those have been home runs. Fly out to eight, one away. 
McCready is up. He gets a 1-8. That's a line out to third, two away. And up steps Tejito Iguchi, and he gets a 4-3, and that is a ground ball, first base, C. And uh, so that is... Um, he's out, and we have... Um, Oh, wait a minute. What was it? In the sixth, we scored two. None in the seventh for either team, really. Right? Right. And we're going to the top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. And there will be a new pitcher for um, the uh, White Sox, Burley. His day is over. He pitched seven innings and only allowed one earned run, so he did quite well. But they're going to bring in Neil Cotts. And he will start off by facing Steve Finley. And that's a 6'11. That is a fly ball to right. That is Jermaine Dye. He is a 2. And that's a 12. Probably an out. And it is. Fly out to 9 for Finley, who is 0 for 3 with two strikeouts on the day. Sean Figgins gets a 6'8. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. He, that is Uribe, and he's a two. That is also going to be an out, six to three. And uh, Garrett Anderson gets a two eight, and that's going to be a home run one to 13. Are you kidding me? You are, because it's a double. So thankfully, that's only a double. Garrett Anderson hitting a double. That's another hit. First hit allowed by Cots, though. And Vlad Guerrero is up. And he gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball shortstop A. So they bounce out 6-3. And that is it. They did get another hit, though. They just didn't come up with a run. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And that will similarly be it for Washburn. So he pitched seven innings. And he will be done after seven. He allowed five hits and two runs. And they don't have really good relief pitching. I didn't realize that. They have actually horrid relief pitching. Except for uh, Freddy Francisco Rodriguez, F-Rod. But he would not want to come in just yet. They're going to bring in Brendan Donnelly. Brendan Donnelly in 2005 was 9-3 and three with a 372 earned run average. And he will start off by facing Scott Pizednik. Uh, here in the bottom of the eighth. And he gets a 2-3, which is a line out to second base. One down, and Aaron Rowan up, and he gets a 6-9. That is a strikeout. Donnelly with his first strikeout of the day. And Frank Thomas gets a 5-5, five, five, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Orlando Cabrera, and he is a 2, and that is an out. He's out 6-3, to three, and we go to the top of the ninth, and unless the Angels can get one run right here, the first game will go to the White Sox. And they are going to take Cots out. Cots only pitched one inning, and they are going to go to... Um, they're going to go to Bobby Jenks, the closer. The 
closer in 2005 of Bobby Jenks. And he will face um, Benji Molina to start off. And that is a 6 4. That's a catcher card X. He is a 4. That's Brzezinski. 10 and 4. That catcher is safe at first on drop pop up. So there's an error by um, the catcher. Molina is on by an E2. And there's no outs. And Darren, Darren Erstad up, and he gets a 3-6, which is a strikeout. Jenks with his first strikeout. Adam Kennedy is up. He gets a 4-7, and that's a strikeout. Two away. Jenks with his second strikeout. And Juan Rivera is up. He had pretty good power. He hit 271, 15 home runs. They're going to let him hit. And he gets a 2-7. And look at that. It's a double 1-7 to seven or a single. And it is actually going to be a double. And let's see. Who is that runner? First of all, we've got a... Uh, what is that? It was a double, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a double by Rivera. You got to figure they have to send him unless it's well, it's Molina. So no, they are not going to send him. He's a one to eight. They don't want to risk that. They'll let Cabrera hit, but he gets a two twelve, which is a line out to third base, and that is it for the Angels. Line out to five ends the game, and that there's your final score with the um, Angels losing the game by the score of 2-1, to one, despite the fact that they did out-hit the, uh, they did out-hit the White Sox, but they didn't outscore them. And so the White Sox take game one um, by the score of 2-1, to one, so you'll definitely want to tune in and see how the rest of this series goes. But right now, the White Sox, who actually won the series, have a one game to nothing lead.